Welcome back, everybody. I have another embolism-inducing clip for you today from The Spew. But first, I'd like you to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified about all my new content. Reporters, I'm very happy that there was a request from the White House to get, to get press briefing questions in advance. And it has so them raising red flags about the Biden administration's promise of total transparency, according to the Daily Beast. Um, does it occur to anybody they've been in probably for three weeks and they might not have all the answers yet? <laughs> all the answers yet? <laughs> Call me crazy. Just so hilarious. Yeah, you're crazy. Uh, we're talking about presidential transparency here, and she can barely keep herself from cracking up laughing. So Whoopi's excuse here for the Biden regime's lack of transparency is that it's only been three weeks. It's only been three weeks. Okay. All right. So let's look at what the press conferences were like three weeks into the Trump administration. Yes, I believe that we have to be honest with the American people. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. I mean, just the other day, he sat down with Martin Luther King Jr. I would call him a civil rights leader. Where his dad was the, the civil third. Rights well, I, I, I think that... You get one point. That's a ridiculous... You're basically... Okay, Kristen, we're going to end this right now. Hunter, 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 no. And then this one is the... I've got the 13 here as well, or the 2017. It is literally 100% the same. Well, first of all, it's not a travel ban. He's using the, the words that the media is using. But at the end of the day, it can't... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It can't be... It can't be... Word is the president day. himself called it a ban. I understand. Is he confused or are you confused? No, I'm not confused. I, think, I don't... I mean, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Okay, I'm, this is silly. Okay, next. And I, okay, you don't get to just yell out questions. We're going to raise our hand like big boys and girls. It's kind of crazy watching that now. Only a couple weeks into the Trump administration, and the press were in a complete frenzy. Whereas now, they're almost like docile sheep. So Whoopi's excuse here has no merit. This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. With the authoritarian left cracking down on free speech, there's never been a better time to use a VPN. Their suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Shield for 50% off today. Sorry, were you freaked out by that? No. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, she's not freaked out by that. Now, of course she's not bothered by it. They're a bunch of ignorant, decaying corpses who are well-known left-wing hacks. I mean, Joy Behar, for example, has openly praised Fidel Castro in his forced indoctrination camps, or as she calls them, literacy programs. It was all he was saying was, "There's this one thing no that they did," and saying, American voters don't understand matter. nuance. They yes, hear they communism. No, no, they no, no. By the way, that that literacy program that he was talking about mm -hmm. was a re-education program. Yes, it was. <laughs> There's a big difference. I believe the literacy rate did jump quite a bit after that. Okay, yeah, I, not, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure they were getting not, a really good dose of not. world history. Nobody takes anything that these women say seriously, right? I mean, but if that's true, how has it gone on for so long? This show has been running for like three decades now. Why are their ratings soaring? They're a bunch of communists who got rich thanks to capitalism who are now protecting and promoting what increasingly looks like everything they've claimed to be against. It's supposed to be informative information, <laughs> questions and answers. And so it behooves the administration to be prepared to give the correct information. Jen Asa Asaki, what's, what's her name, Saki? Jen Psaki. <laughs> she can't know name. everything, you know? I mean, and she, and oh. by the way, this idea that she could come up with spin, I think the reporters are quite aware of when someone is spinning and when they're not. And oh, um, I, I think I just had an embolism. I mean, that is literally, and I, I'm sorry I keep saying literally, but it is literally the press secretary's job to spin. But Biden doesn't even need a press secretary because the media is already out there spinning for him. Whether it's mostly peaceful protests that are burning down cities and attacking innocent people, or that videos of Biden having these cognitive meltdowns that are actually the work of manipulated videos. The media actually came out and said that. Their job is clear and it's anything but journalism. I mean, this very idea that we could just trust Jen Psaki when she's a known liar. She lied about the Muslim ban multiple times. There's never 
never been a Muslim ban. There's never been a ban that banned all Muslims from entering this country. It never happened. She lied about a YouTube video being to blame for Benghazi. And when it came out that that was a lie, that it was not true that a YouTube video was to blame, she blamed the CIA for putting out that excuse. When in fact, the CIA ended up saying, no, it wasn't us. And it turned out that that excuse came from the State Department for which she was a spokesperson for. Who knows what else she's lying about? Because there's literally zero accountability in the Democrat party state media. You all know she worked for CNN when Trump got into office. It's the revolving door that we're always talking about. She went from the Obama administration to CNN and then right back to the White House. We're talking about, we're coming from the mooch, uh, Sarah uh, Huckabee and, mm -hmm. and Kaylee McEnany, the liar in chief Oh, you know, press secretary. So, so we're we're in a whole new world, and, and so well, they just repeated you know, that if, over if and the over. The Biden administration uh, has has <laughs> given God, us. Uh, I, I think it's just a breath of fresh air. So the oh, fact that yeah. they're asking for, um, you know area topic areas or even questions, I, I still think we're in a much better place in terms of transparency. Oh, of course, because it's her guy in office now. So even though he's clearly not being transparent, I mean, we already know he's not. That's what the initial story was all about. Oh, but it's a Democrat. So we could just, just breathe in that fresh air. I mean, the truth is that the press has just stopped torturing the public on a 24-7 basis. When a Republican is in, the public is punished day in, day out. Then when the Democrat inevitably gets back in, suddenly all the reporting becomes optimistic and cheerful. It's that fresh air she's talking about. Jen Psaki is a lifelong politician who's never worked a real job in her life. When she wasn't working in politics, she worked for CNN as a DNC propagandist. Now she's back to basically doing the exact same thing. And lastly, the idea that the Joe Biden administration is gonna be transparent with the media is laughable. The last time that Biden was in the White House, there were a record number of reporters and journalists who were put in prison under the Espionage Act. It's easy to forget because the media allows it to be forgotten, but Obama also spied on reporters at Fox News and at the Associated Press. Maybe Democrats feel free to abuse the press because the press is so willing to let it happen. That's why you have folks like me, for now anyway, to continue exposing these corrupt hacks for who they are. If you want to follow me on some of the alternate platforms or support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.